These are the kinds of transitions that you will be learning how to make today. So, if I choose any one of the different themes that I have over here, okay, you should be able to see each of the transitions working perfectly. Okay, now I can pick whichever theme that I want. Let's say I pick a custom theme like Noir or Nord or Rose Pine. As you can see, this beautiful transition shows up. I can also choose a theme and then immediately choose another theme. And what should happen is that it's just going to overwrite it without complaining, which is what you see over here. As you can see, that little piece of wallpaper right there, it was overwritten by the current theme that I chose. Now that is what we're going to be learning how to do today. The best part is you don't really have to install too many applications. In fact, it's just one app and it's already inside of Pac-Man's repos, so you don't even have to use the AOR for it, okay? And that app is called SWWW, otherwise known as SIU, as I like to call it. It's basically a solution to your Wayland wallpaper woes. Now, installing it is pretty simple. All you have to do is just look up SWWW. And this S command, by the way, is an alias that I've set up inside of my ZSH RC. So this shell that you're seeing over here, this is actually ZSH. So S actually maps to yay dash S. Okay, so whenever, okay, never mind. It's actually yay dash SS. So it searches for any package that I ask it to. So if I just type in this command, what it should do is display all my search results for this particular package. And what you see over here is extra slash SWWW. Same package. So you install that with yay dash S. SWWW. It's just two, two megs, so it doesn't require too much. And because of that, you can use it in plenty of shell scripts like I just did with the custom theme switcher, right? This theme switcher was made possible by SWWW. If it weren't for this tool being so lightweight, right, it wouldn't have been possible to actually make this work because hyperpaper, yeah, it works, but then you don't have these kinds of transitions. And the only reason you saw it not applying the transition every once or twice is because of the rest of the stuff that's going on in, on in the script. However, if you just type it in the command, like if you type the command SWWW, IMG, okay, that gets too way too long, so I'm just gonna call it SIU. So SIU IMG, if you just type in the image path and then pass in the arguments I'm about to show you, you won't have that issue where it doesn't actually show the transition. But until then, this is what we've got, right? So let me just clear the screen for you and show you whatever options that we have to configure and deal with. So clear, fill to specified outputs with specified color. So basically, let's say you have a wallpaper like this. Okay, now what you want to do is just replace it with a stock color or a bland color for whatever reason. You could do that with clear. Same thing that you might be able to do with hyperpaper, not sure. You're gonna have to look that up. But if you want to just fill your wallpaper with a color, you're just gonna have to use this clear command. And then the rest of it, pretty easy to figure out. However, what we're here for is the IMG. So if we just type in SWWW, IMG, pictures, wallpapers, and then I grab any one of these wallpapers over here, okay? We just have to pass this in after IMG. And then we have a couple more arguments that we have to give to Sue so that we can get our wallpaper displayed with that same transition. Now, what you have to do here is type in transition FPS first of all. You wanna set that to 144 or the maximum refresh rate on your display. Mine's actually 60, but I set it to 144 so that it can be a little bit smoother and it's not limited by the maximum refresh rate of my display. If you have a higher refresh rate display, of course, go ahead, put that exact number in. Otherwise, 144 should work for you. Then after the, the transition FPS, we have transition step. So transition step is basically how smooth the transition is. So if I run this again, okay, Great, let's pick a theme that actually works. I'm amazing. Okay, now, this smoothness that you see over here, there's no dithering, there's no weird artifacts at the edges of the movement, right? At the edges of the expanding wallpaper. So if you want to control just how much that smoothness exists, you're going to have to use this transition step command or this transition step switch, whatever you want to call it. You can set it to 255, which means there's no... Again, artifacts, there's no weird smoothing going on over there. If you just want it to be clean transition between one wallpaper and the other. Okay. And then finally, we have transition type. This one's the most interesting because we have a couple of different transition types. So if I scroll down and show you what types we have. Okay. It's somewhere over here. Right. So we have center, which is going to be like so. This is what center looks like. And then after that, we have simple, which is just a simple fade. So I can pick 
a different wallpaper over here this one okay this is actually intended behavior because when you change transition step to 255 right basically disables the fade animation and simple has no effect so it's the same as just changing the wallpaper as you would on hyper paper it's just instant there's nothing else you can do about it so simple that's what it gets then apart from that we have any which starts at a random point with either center or outer transitions so you can try any any and then we can pick a different wallpaper here okay starts like that and then let's try it again with a different wallpaper okay so it can either be inner or outer transition it just starts from any coordinate on your screen that's what any is great and then we have random which basically selects a transition effect at random so it can either be a wipe wipe is also a transition type now uh, if i show you another image with the wipe transition it should be like so it wipes at an angle of 45 degrees i'm pretty sure you can change the degrees somewhere here it should be in the wiki but that is what the wipe transition looks like great and random of course looks like so we can pick other wallpaper here okay there we go sometimes what happens is with the images it's either the image size or the image resolution which causes sww's god that's too long of a name but anyway use image rendering to mess up and then basically not show the transition but if you reduce transition fps and if you reduce transition step what might happen is that you might not face this issue anymore or it might just be my computer because it happens sometimes right now we can change transition step to something like 120 and then change spaceman to something like see here dice yeah now you can see it works pretty well we can pick another one so i can show you Ta-da! works perfectly great now let's switch back to the original theme and that's it that is pretty much how you get transitions like this inside of hyperland there's one last thing we have to do which is go into our hyperland config okay config hyper modules hyperland.com okay hold on that's an auto start oh and if you're wondering what this modules folder is about i cover it in a section called modularity in the program which is the first link in the description so you can go ahead check that out and in that program i actually teach you how to make custom themes which is like this from scratch ignore the wallpaper which i'm going to fix that but apart from that yeah i teach you exactly how to make a wallpaper switcher like this theme switcher right that adapts to your theme no matter what theme that you choose so if i pick a different theme over here as you can see it changes voila everything works so if you want to know how to make something like this without having to jump through 50 different hoops go ahead click the first link in the description okay great now let's get back to this you have to make sure to execute this daemon once after you log into your hyperland session because what happens if we kill this daemon so if we kill sww daemon of course you can't kill it with a pid so let's use kill all kill all dash nine and here as you can see without the daemon or the demon in the running in the background it's not going to be able to display the wallpaper so we have to make sure that the daemon is running okay now if you're running this daemon in the wallpaper and you don't want to actually log out and log back in best thing for you to do is just type in sww sue god damn it okay sue sue demon <laughs> so demon what, whatever this thing's name is okay ampersand disown so when you type in ampersand disown what happens is this app gets disconnected from the terminal and so you can actually freely close the terminal without having the app die on you now because this actually depends on a graphical environment to survive if we log out of hyperland sue is going to die anyway so it doesn't matter we can just type in ampersand is on. you can also use the command set sid so set sid and then you can run the daemon again like so and then that's also going to detach from the terminal but chances are it might not survive so ampersand is on is your best bet at getting it to survive and that's pretty much it again if you want to know how to make something like this Go ahead, click the first link in the description. I show you exactly how to do this, how to configure this from scratch. In fact, if I actually go to the program and show you what you're getting, yep, it's over here in theme switches. So here in this module, which is two hours long, you can just take a look here. 
literally two hours long. I sat down, recorded this theme for switches. two hours. I sat down, recorded this for two hours, right? And here I covered what theme switches actually are, right? Because there's something different, trust me. They're not what you think they are. Different kinds of them, how to set up wallpaper-based theme switching, and how to set up custom theme switching, which you are seeing over here. So if you want to know how to do this, along with customizing Hyperland in more ways than you can possibly imagine with all of these, you know, themes and whatnot, go ahead, click the first link in the description and check it out. If you liked the video, hit like. If you loved it and want to see more like this in your feed, hit subscribe and I will see you next time. Stay rising.